it's Pinkmon and welcome back to the Eevee Legacy Challenge. So as you can see here, I was actually having an emotional meltdown. <laughs> Some weirdo was at our door and I just had her ask everyone to leave or whatever and she started having an emotional meltdown. So one thing I forgot to mention in the last part was she has kind of become a little bit of a celebrity. She's a one star celebrity and it's all from selling her baked goods, which is really annoying because like I don't want her to be famous. So now that she is done with her baking skill, this should go down, but she got the fame quirk. Um, how do we see her fame quirks? Here, so she got a motion bomb. So lately she's been getting triggered hardcore and just freaking out over little things. It's super annoying. Um, I had a sim with that quirk before and it, it can get real annoying. But yeah, I just played through like half a day off camera because everyone was miserable after the school dance since they stayed up literally all night. But um, everyone's doing pretty good. I have Mark working on Rio's aspiration. He has to play two games of chess, so that's what they're doing. Um, and then everyone else is just getting ready. Oh, Caspian actually has to go to his scouts meeting. I'll send him there. But um, he's depressed. He got a really mean text message from one of the baseball team um, members of Adrian. So maybe Adrian needs to um, have a talk with them, but... Yeah, you got a really mean text message saying like, do you even go to parties? Do you even get invited to parties? <laughs> it was sad. But um, Isla's giving Puddle a bath because Puddle got dirty. And then, yeah, we're just going to Autumn's house today basically is the plan. Um, let's have our girl change out of this chef outfit. Uh, and we're going to head over once everybody is ready. All right, here we are at Autumn's little cute house. Um, obviously, I didn't build this. This was either already here or I got it from the gallery. I don't even know. <laughs> One of those two things. Okay, so here it is. I didn't edit it at all, by the way. It's very, like, Apple-themed. It's cute. But um, looks like Autumn is sad for some reason. Um, let's come and give her some family advice. And maybe some parenting tips. Maybe she's struggling with the baby or whatever. Oh, here's Aaron who's lighting this. Hopefully we don't start a fire. Let's just kind of chat with him too. Make sure Mark knows him because this is the dude that is living with his daughter. <laughs> um, they're still just friends right now. But I think they got a little flirtatious yesterday on Love Day. Which is cool. Let's have everybody meet him if they don't already know him. I think all the kids met him before. Uh, but just to be sure. Oh, Caspian doesn't know him. So we'll have him meet him. And we're good. And then Rio probably doesn't know him. So there we go. Uh, Heather's always texting him. They need to be like BFFs. And then um, I don't even know if Rio has ever met Autumn. So oh, okay, they have. Oh yeah, she did play with him when they were toddlers a bit. Caspian just got back from his scout meeting. That's why he's dressed like this. He looks so cute. Okay, so they're all kind of just chatting a bit. Um, by the way, Marina's going through... Ew, what? A ghost is calling her. Marina's going through a little bit of a phase right now. She is feeling distant, so she keeps trying to avoid her family. And she's... Um, every time she talks to them, she keeps having like really... Um, negative reactions even if she's doing friendly things so it's kind of annoying but yeah we could at least have her chat with uh a non-family member right maybe that won't make her pissed off so let's come and compliment his outfit whatever and we have to meet the baby because that is the main purpose of coming here so let me find her oh she's over here so here is charlotte oh no she's very hungry okay well just so she doesn't get taken away let's have um eva come over here and actually bottle feed her. Hopefully nobody else is trying to do something because you know the babies are so annoying when like one person's trying to do something. Oh no, Isla just went to work. Whatever. We'll have her strictly enforce the rules so she can get a promotion. But yeah, the babies can be annoying if one person's going to try to interact with them then it'll cancel out like all your interactions. Let's have Mark come up here and come meet his little grandbaby. I don't know if the game actually counts Charlotte as eva's grandchild but um no we don't want to join party house i can't believe that that club is still around oh cute oh my gosh 
Eva is so happy to be a grandma. Yeah, but um, even if the game does not end up counting Charlotte as one of her grandbabies, I'll cheat um, for her aspiration if I have to because Autumn is definitely still her kid. A stepchild is still a child, so. <laughs> Anyways, that's adorable. So I'm gonna have her actually um, probably cuddle her too, and then Mark is going to, I guess he's using the bathroom, but he's going to interact with his grandbaby too. I'm gonna have everybody come up and kind of meet her. Uh, yeah, just everyone come up. Isla will come back when she's done with work. Actually, I think she gets out of work kind of late, so we might have to, um, have her come over at another time, but I'm actually planning to, oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I just need a picture of this, like, what? How are you this cute, dude? Aww. I actually need to go out with Adam and Isla later because they need to clear the air after that really awkward, um, love day situation. Oh, crap! <laughs> are you late for work? Uh, oh no! I was late for work. She has to go to work now. All right. So she just had a quick visit. She's going to go to work. She has to work hard because she's ready to get that promotion. Um, and now I'm going to have Mark actually not get cereal, but come and probably bounce uh, Charlotte. And everybody's just going and eating like food. <laughs> it's okay. Once he's done, I'll have the next person come up. Aww. I like how her head is like glitching through his um, arm though. Do one more thing because that looked kind of stupid. So let's do, oh no, don't bottle feed her. We just fed her. Maybe make a silly face at her. Oh my gosh, I love them. Um, I like how Adrian's just boxing over there. <laughs> Aww. This is so adorable. I think she might be aging up today in game i'm not 100 percent sure though um okay since rio's right here we can have him meet her next okay mark you're gonna move out of the way and rio you can come and talk to her um adrian is actually passed out who is over here boxing oh okay so it's aaron so you know what that kind of works with the whole little storyline i had going where he's basically protecting um Autumn from Calvin, because Calvin went a little crazy when they broke up. I have Eva work hard. But, oh my goodness! What a good cousin you are, Rio. Oh, she liked him. A lot of times the babies don't like random people like <laughs> interacting with them like that. So I'm gonna need you to come up here. You can wake up Adrian and probably uh, coo at her. Look at her. She's gonna be so freaking cute. Aww. I think this makes them actually know the baby, so that's good. Alright, so he did his thing. Get out of the way, dude. Just come sit. Whatever. Okay, Caspian, you meet her now. You can rock her, maybe? That would be cute. Does that make them fall asleep? I don't know. Aww. I love this. Caspian, I feel like it's gonna be such a good dad. Like, I think he's gonna want a bunch of kids like his mom. <laughs> okay, and then Marina still is, is past. They're all still tired from the um, dance, but um, that's why I had him sleep half the day. <laughs> okay, Marina's actually gonna cuddle her. And then at nine o'clock is when Isla gets out of work, so I'm gonna have, oh, I'm gonna have her come back and um wait did I call this her his cousin that's not his cousin that's his niece Rio's niece yeah Rio's a young uncle isn't he <laughs> Paul Landgrab okay um I'm gonna send everyone home that has already done something with the baby except for Mark because I need someone to stay here <laughs> just so oh he's gonna come change this diaper he can come and shush and then change the diaper um, but yeah, I'm just waiting until I like it's out of work. She gets out at nine. It's already eight something. So I'm just gonna wait uh, Autumn is like exhausted. She's eating. Oh my goodness. It's the bread pudding that freaking um, Eva made for her and gave to her for a present last time. Remember she just pulled that out of her inventory. That's so cute 
Mark being the best grandpa ever. Helping out his daughter, who's probably freaking exhausted, being a new mom. Obviously, she has help with Aaron, but... Oh, look at them! Look at them! Can I use the control thing to make them maybe flirt? She's, like, in such a bad mood, I don't think I should, because it might, like, um, not work if I try to make her flirt when she's in a bad mood. But, um, here is... Daddy V in her um, household for now. And then here's Misty. Um, if you missed her <laughs> from um, our, our original household. Ah, Looks like Autumn has gotten a lot closer with Daddy V since they lived together. He's going to come and breed with Evie one more time to make Rio's puppy. Um, now I'm just going to have Mark kind of give parenting tips to Aaron. Um... He's just kind of talking to them about the baby. Okay, so now Isla's actually going to come here and meet her niece. Before she passes out, I'm just going to have her come and bounce her. What a happy baby Charlotte is. <laughs> oh no, she is going to pass out first. <laughs> Dude, you're going home soon. Just come meet your niece and then you can go. And then what I'm going to do is obviously um, wait until the morning when they're all awake and stuff. So we can have Isla go out with Adam and just kind of like clear the air about what happened on Love Day. And hopefully actually get them together. That's my real goal. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love this so much. Oh, one more picture. <laughs> oh my goodness, look! Marina's BFF just said, Hey Marina, I have a really big crush on you. I really hope you feel the same way. No! <laughs> Don't ruin their friendship! Oh my gosh. No, she likes freaking Randy and she's straight, so sorry, Chloe, but I don't feel the same way. Oh my goodness, that's so awkward. Oh no. That really hurt their friendship a bit, didn't it? Because they were like all the way up here before. Oh no. Chloe's also mean, apparently. Aw, poor Chloe. All right, so it is the next morning and Adrian's up first, which is actually perfect because what I want to do is, even though it's too early to invite people over, I'll manually invite over um, April and I'm going to... Pretend he just texted her, like, hey, we gotta talk, whatever. Um, so she's on her way. I'll have him come and meet her out here. Because what he wants to do is actually tell her he just wants to be friends with her. Like, I'm not exactly sure who flirted with who at the dance, but um, we had some unintentional flirt flirting between them two, which ended up pissing off his actual love interest, Crystal. So it's not like he... Um, doesn't like April but yeah he's definitely like had his eye on Crystal for a while so I want to go in and ask to just be friends if that's an option. I don't know why I'm not seeing it. Maybe it's because they autonomously flirted. I don't know. I feel like it should be an option though. I don't know what's up with that. Um, Let me just start talking to her. I don't know. Can I actually have her do it if I do MC control, maybe? Uh, friendly... Apparently not. I don't know what's up with that, but they clearly have a romantic um, thing going on. I'll just cheat their relationship, probably. I don't know why they're talking like that, but okay. Um, but can I go in... If I go into romance, can I do it? Uh... Maybe if I do discuss future, I don't know. I don't know if this is going to actually backfire and make them more romantic, but we'll see. So, discuss future with her. If it gives me an option to say, like, um, yeah, I don't think this is going to work out, then maybe it'll, like, decrease their um, romance bar. No, that didn't work. <laughs> oh my god, okay. So, pretend that didn't happen then. Uh, where's the ask to just be friends option? Give single. It's not like giving me an option. Can I do something under mean maybe? No. 
all right, well, I'm just going to cheat it then. We'll just pretend they had the conversation like, sorry for maybe giving you the wrong idea, but I really like um, Crystal. So let me go into relationships, set active relationship, romance, uh, just friends. Okay. And then we're going to ask her to leave. Actually, we don't even have to do that because I, I want to reset him because he has like all his interactions are like going up here. So I think he has something wrong with him. Let me reset him and then we'll send her home. And then I'm going to have him actually ask Crystal out on a date, which I don't know if she's going to say yes because last time they were kind of having issues. So ask on a date. She might say no. <laughs> if she does say no, then I'm just going to manually make her go out. And we'll just say, okay, she said they're going as friends then. Okay, she said yes, cool. I think he's going to just take her to the Starbucks because it's early in the morning. <laughs> I did um, recently put some new lots, I think, in here. And I don't think we've been to the Starbucks yet. So why not? Okay, so she's looking a little sad, probably still from... Um, the last time they had issues. So can we actually request tables here? Is this like an actual... All right, so it's just a cafe, cool. So let's have them come over. Hopefully this barista is gonna work. A lot of times they have issues, but go get behind the freaking bar, Chloe Kenny. Okay, so it looks like he's feeling, he's fearless because of this whole thing. So, um, we're just gonna say he's feeling confident because, like, the whole thing went well with April. She didn't get mad or whatever when he tried to explain the situation. So, let's just chat with her until this bar used to actually starts to work. Um, she's really sad. I think she... Hold on. Let me check. I think I can see her moodlets. So, then I'll know if she actually got sad about him flirting, um, last time. Oh, okay. So, it actually looks like she had a loss in the family... Um, she's depressed over that, okay. And so I don't think she really cares about the whole flirting thing. Maybe he's kind of helped her get over it or something. Maybe he, I don't know, helped her realize that it was nothing. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know if she saw it, but I feel like she did just by the way she was acting last time. Looks like um, she didn't like him trying to cheer her up. That interaction usually doesn't work well for me unless... The sim is like super close. Oh, poor thing. Maybe now's not the best time to try to actually get with her. She has a loss in the family, Adrian. <laughs> this does pretty much look like a Starbucks, doesn't it? Okay. Poor thing, oh my goodness. So let's share a secret. Express admiration. Oh, it's new skill day. Honestly, Makoa. I love you, but can you, like, not be in this conversation? Is the barista working yet? No. Uh, dude, can you please let her work so we can order something? That would be cool. Okay. We should probably build up their friendship, though, because they aren't even at the- well, they might be at the friend level now. Oh, they're not even at the friend level. Yeah, so, should probably build that up before we try to actually flirt with her. Let's, um, show off our outfit, I guess. She's still depressed. He's going to show off his muscles, do an inside joke. Maybe if she laughs, she'll kind of feel better. Oh, here's that good morning mod that I got. Good morning and good night thing. Okay. Um, what else can we do? Maybe just tell her a funny story. And Makoa, you can like seriously get out of our conversation. I wish you could just like right click on these and get rid of them. Um... Why are we doing this? Let's uh, sit together over here. I guess there's a thunderstorm going on. I actually want to have the other kids work on their homework if I can. Yeah, just because it's Sunday. So it would be nice if they could work on this while I'm out. So you do your homework. For some reason, Isla can't. Maybe because her needs are kind of bad. Rio already did his, so he's going to build his... What did I just make him do? I don't even know. Bowling skill? No. <laughs> His mental skill. And Eva. I wish I could make her, like, make food. 
Obviously, I can't do that. I don't know. She can just take care of herself, whatever. And Mark is going to also just take care of himself. Apparently, that's all he can really do. Okay, um... So, Adrian, why don't you stop being really awkward and talking to her through this divider, divider thing? It's just like, I wish Sims would be a little more logical. <laughs> like, now we're just sitting with this random chick. Like, doesn't make any sense. Yeah, come sit over here, please. Hopefully, she, did she just go all the way around? Oh my god, whatever. Um, Makoa, I'm gonna force you to leave using this because... You need to get out of our conversation, to be honest. Uh, here he is. All right, bye. Um, anyways, now we can finally start actually being flirty with her. Oh, this is actually technically a date. I kind of forgot about that. Oh, now she is in a much better mood. That's great. Okay, so let me um, do a bold pickup line. That usually works when they're actually feeling confident. Okay, so let's compliment her lean body. <laughs> um, we can compliment her appearance. And what else? We can reveal our crush on her. Hopefully she is okay with all of this. It's kind of a lot. We'll flirt with her and then probably exchange numbers. I always like to do that just to get it out of the way because <laughs> once you do it once you don't have to do it ever again it's not like an option anymore get out of my way lady okay what else we should did i already do discuss future together i can't remember maybe i did and that's why they're both feeling fearless so let's give her a pickup line and then oh they still haven't had their first kiss i think i will i know this is like super romantic just in a freaking starbucks but it's not that big a deal right <laughs> Dude, can you, like, really not get in our business right now? Like, what is he doing? <laughs> I mean, it's sad that you're crying or whatever, but you don't need to, like, do that right in front of us. Aw, isn't she super cute? I think all their little um, girlfriends and boyfriends are so cute. Oh my gosh, look at her! Okay, uh... Cool, got a picture. And I am going to have him ask her to be his girlfriend, too. We're just coupling everybody off. Uh, hold their hands and then ask to be girlfriend. Okay. So now the only one we really have to work out what happened. Do we ask her to be our girlfriend? Oh, somebody's doing something. Interrupting our stuff. She's hungry, obviously, but... I kind of don't care at this point because the barista is not really working and I'm just trying to get this done. Oh my god! <laughs> I've been having a lot of issues. Oh, you know what it is? It's my mod about um, asking to be girlfriend or proposing and all that. I think I need to take that out because it's been giving me issues. Um, oh no, we're having an awkward encounter. Oh no, is she going to say no? Okay, here we go. Sure, let's give it a try. But how come she said no right there, though? I'm confused now. I'm super confused. Very awkward encounter, but I said yes. I don't know. All right, so I guess she's... She just, she just said, like, she's not ready to make it official. We'll say that. All right, so let's end the date. That was kind of awkward, but at least he made a little progress with her. Now we need to switch over to Isla. I'm just going to have her take a steamy shower before we head out just so she'll be in the best possible mood to actually accept Adam's feelings this time. I think she's been thinking about it over the weekend and she's just like realizing she does really like him and um it might be worth risking their friendship to actually date him. So she is going to text him when she gets out of the shower. Maybe we can send him. Oh, she's just feeling playful even though I just did a steamy shower. What the heck happened? Did she stop? Oh, she stopped before it was over. Okay, then. Let's redo that. Why is she not finishing this freaking shower? I'm having lots of glitches, guys. This is actually not the first time this has happened. I, I was having the same type of glitch in my 100 baby challenge. Um... Where, like, 
I had to make my sim take a shower multiple times to actually fully finish. I don't know what's up with that. It's weird. Oh, and you know what the other thing was? Every time I would have um, Caspian paint, every two seconds he was trying to use this computer. I think I, I think there's something wrong with this computer. That's what it is. It would like cancel out his um, interaction so he could use the computer. Um, Autumn wants to come over. I mean, okay, we're not going to be here, but it's fine. So she's going to send Adam a little flirty text. Not like anything crazy, but just like, uh, like I've been thinking, and a selfie apparently. <laughs> like I've been thinking about what you said and I think we need to just meet up and talk about it, blah, blah, blah. That kind of thing. Hopefully he'll respond in a good way to this. Let's see. Any response? Oh god, Adrian. <laughs> He's going to self woohoo. I like that that mod, but I don't like how they just get naked. Um, looks like he didn't answer, so I think he's still kind of sad about it. Um, about her kind of rejecting him because he felt like he put himself out there and like risked a lot by saying it, but then she didn't respond the way he wanted to, so he's kind of like probably avoiding her a bit. All right, so here we are. Um, where should we have them go chill? I just want them to find like a nice spot where they can kind of talk. She's not really hungry, so we don't need to worry about that. Maybe we'll just have them come like sit on this bench. So let's go here together. It is also officially summer, so let's, um, whatever, just get their conversation started and then we'll sit and chat here. Aww. They're still getting along fine. Um, okay, so let's have them. I think she was honestly just, um, I had him confess attraction, which is kind of something you're not supposed to do right from, oh, she is feeling flirty, oh my gosh. Okay, so let me try to compliment his appearance. But, um, yeah, I did confess attraction, which is kind of like, you don't really do that unless you already have a romance bar started, so that was honestly my fault. But I didn't have many romance options available when I tried to, um, control him. I do want to get a mod where you can control, like, everything about other sims. Um, I think that would be kind of helpful for my storyline purposes, but, oh no, what happened? Did he not like it? Or maybe he did. Let's get up and embrace him then. Oh, by the way, I found some CC ears that I feel like, oh, hold on, I feel like are even more like Vaporeon. She looks kind of drunk, so I'm going to go this way. <laughs> um, they look even more like Vaporeon ears, so I'm probably going to switch her ears when she ages up and she gets her, like, full Vaporeon blue hair and everything makeover. But, yeah. These ones are still pretty Vaporeon looking, but just found these other ones that look slightly more accurate. Okay, so maybe we can move away from the little flirting things and actually reveal our crush to him. And we're going to do the exchange numbers just because I like to get it out of the way. Discuss our future together. So they're just going to talk about like, we have to make a promise that if we don't end up working out, we have to stay friends. Like we cannot hold it against each other. Whatever happens, we have to stay friends. Where do you just go? What happened? Relationships are hard. These sims have discussed it. There's only two options now. Go for it or break it off. What should we do? Oh, okay. So I thought that something bad was happening. I thought he was saying, okay, screw this. Because <laughs> he just started running away. I think he started running away because he thought that she was going to go the same route as last time and say, like, we can't date because we're friends. But she's like, no, Adam. Like, that's not what I meant. And then she, oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy now. Aww. Uh, hold on, dude. Do a bold pickup line. Her best friend wants to hang out. We'll definitely do that later, but we're kind of busy right now. Okay, so we're going to flirt with him. And then... Um, I don't... I want him to ask her to be his girlfriend. But, um... Let me see. Let's embrace him again, and then I think I want to go into the passionate romance mod. Maybe we can... Uh, 
those are a little much, aren't they? <laughs> Let me um, compliment his body, I guess. And then attempt to seduce. She would not do that, but I just clicked on it anyway. He keeps trying to leave. I think he has something to do. Like, he might have a part-time job or something. Or he might be trying to go get food. Let's do a suave kiss just so we can um, start the conversation again. Oh, look at him. He's so happy. You can tell he's happy. Okay, uh... So what I want to do... Oh, we're not going to mess around yet. Definitely not. Um, mm, okay, I might have a glitch again where when I try to have them um, ask each other out. Like I've been having with that mod. I'm probably going to take that out like right after this part. But I like the idea of the mod, but it keeps like causing issues for me. I don't know if it's just not super compatible with the latest version of the game or what, but... Okay, so sure, let's give it a try. Okay, it worked for them. It didn't work when I did it with Adrian. Oh my goodness, I need this. I need this picture. They look so cute, oh my god. I'm obsessed with them. Also, notice how her eyes are probably like three times as big as Adam's and her lips are. He has like the tiny um, Zoe Benali lips. He looks a lot like his mom actually. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, cool. So with that, I think I'm going to end the part here. Um, if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Oh, what is this? You send the best memes, got any more? So yes. <laughs> um, let me know what you think of Adam and Autumn's not Autumn, oh my god, Adam and Isla's relationship, do you think they're gonna last, or do you think they're gonna end up breaking up and just trying to be friends, kind of like Eva and Salim stayed friends after breaking up, let me know what you think, she's gonna head to work, and with that, I am gonna end the part, so I hope we'll see you next time, bye guys!